All right, Julieta, on this TrackMan Fundamental, we're gonna look at bounce and roll, which is basically landing angle. So we're gonna be looking at the angle that the ball is coming down into the ground. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start, have you hit a five iron, then take a look at the numbers. Uh, but before you do that, when you're you know, hitting your five iron into a green, say like at the US Open, where it's usually pretty firm greens, I mean, what are you thinking about? Do you feel like you have to play a little bit short of the hole to allow for it to run out a little bit? Yeah, for sure. I have to give myself at least five to 10 yards for the ball to stop, you know, pin high or on the green, uh, especially with my five iron and especially on firm greens. Okay, well, let's go ahead and have you hit a five iron, then we'll come back and we'll take a look at the numbers. Okay, perfect. Does that look like a pretty solid shot there? I think so. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at those numbers. So what we want to look at here is the landing angle. And we talked about that's the angle that the ball's coming down into the ground. And what you have here is you're at 42 and a half. So if we think about it, 90 degrees is straight down, zero is rolling on the ground, and 45 is right in the middle. So you're actually just slightly less than that middle number. So your ball's moving a little bit more out than it is down. And so that's why you have to play a little bit for a bounce and roll, you know, when you're hitting that shot into the green is because this is maybe coming in just a fraction flat. Um, we have a little bit of a headwind. So, you know, the carry number is going to be a little bit less than what we expect, but actually having a headwind is going to make the ball come down a bit steeper. So if it was perfectly calm out here, you might actually even see that number just a fraction flatter. Uh, so let's go ahead and try something here. Let's move up to what is your four iron, but it's actually a four hybrid. And let's see how that hybrid helps get the ball up in the air and see if it allows for that landing angle to get a little bit steeper. Okay. So when you, before we go ahead and hit this, when you hit your four hybrid, do you feel like this club stops quicker than your five iron? Oh yeah, for sure, uh, by miles. This club can stay on the green pretty easily. With my five iron, I have to make sure that I have all the numbers down to make sure that it doesn't roll off the green. Okay, so if you're, let's say it's firm greens and you're playing for your five iron to roll out 10 yards, uh, what would be the same conditions? Would you play for just a couple yards or any distance? How quick would this stop? I would say a little bit less than half, so at least four, four yards will be a good one. Okay, perfect. Well, let's go ahead and hit the hybrid and see what the numbers say. Okay, perfect. All right, that one looked pretty good, Julia. Let's take a look at that one as well. Okay. So how did you feel like you hit that shot? I felt like it was pretty good. About similar to what the five iron was? Yeah. Okay, so if we take a look at that landing angle, we see that it's a little bit steeper here. So now we've hit that number where the ball's coming in halfway. We're right at that 45 degree number. Uh, if we go back to your other shot, it was 42 and a half. So even though it doesn't look like a big difference here, only two and a half degrees, it actually is gonna play a big factor in how quickly that that ball stops. Uh, you know, you would ideally want this number to maybe be a little bit on the high side of 45 so that the ball is gonna be moving down more than it is out. And that's really gonna help it stop quickly. But, you know, your club speed is right around what the average amateur is. So, you know, the average amateur can expect if they're optimized like you are, to have similar landing angles. But usually with amateurs, you know, they're gonna have the ball come in flatter, they're gonna have to play for a lot more bounce and roll. Um, so it's, it's a good number to try and achieve, and it just shows that you're pretty efficient with what you're doing, and it allows you to, you know, with that four hybrid, kind of get the ball to hit and maybe release a couple yards, but not run out too much on you. Yeah, perfect.